Hello and welcome to the EEPROM 9. Today for Teardown we have one of these, which is absolutely too mangy to do it inside the house. It's a door mount cone light, um, part 2 1990, so this is an old one. And I've always wondered exactly uh, how these things flash in sequence, so I'm hoping to find the answer to that by uh, cracking this open. So first, we will pop the battery out, which is suitably mangy, and aside from one of these um, very old school lantern lights, the answer to that does not lie in the um, battery compartment, or it's even more disgusting inside than it was outside. Let us pop it open further. Is anyone who's an arachnophobe be freaking out big time right now because I seem to be being swarmed by spiders? Ah, here we go. So here's the actual where the electronics are. As you can see internally, it's just basically wires and the um, orange reflector. I'm actually kind of... what's that do? Oh, it's got an LED in there! Oh yeah, there's definitely electronics in here. So this might have been upgraded in its life. Maybe I should have... ...grabbed another screwdriver. Comes apart easy enough. There's definitely electronics in there. Here we go, it's coming. It's got be more medieval on its arse. Stab myself. Because they always flash in a sequence. Oh, that's pretty cool. Although it doesn't explain how it does its sequence flashing when they all flash in a sequence. But you can see actually under the black blob chip and you can actually see the die. Let me go get my macro lens so I can show you more directly. But if we bring it up closer... Yeah, I'm surprised we can't see any kind of radio transmitter or whatnot. Let me go get my macro lens. So, as you can see, the battery contacts go straight into the chip, which then proceeds to have a 150 ohm resistor on there, on the LED, which goes straight into the little IC, which you can just about make out some of the details on the die itself. Interesting how it's clear, and that might have something to do with its flashing. 
that could be how it detects whether it's dark actually because ICs actually act as um, semiconductors are actually sensitive to light and it's actually under silicon not an epoxy blob there's a better view of it I might take a snap with my macro Fuji lens and stick it in frame because that's a much better lens but yeah there's inside that's how it detects night and day doesn't seem to have anything more than a standard diode I might pop some voltage on it and see how it reacts but yeah that is inside a um workman's traffic light that is normally mounted on top of a cone thanks for watching hope you found that interesting